So there are three big problems that those of us with ADHD and executive function challenges have when it comes to managing time. So with the ADHD brain, one of the three problems with managing time is called time blindness. We tend to be very unrealistic about time and that can get us into a lot of trouble. There's just blindness about what's really going on with time. Number two is because of this time blindness and because of just challenges with time management and the ADHD brain, being late, being late. And often what comes with being late is being unprepared. And that leads me to number three. A lot of us with ADHD brains and executive function challenges tend to be poor at planning, poor at forethought, right? So when it comes to our time management, we don't plan things out very well. We don't think things through very well. And thus we are can be late we can be unprepared so i have this thing that i call the three by ten rule for time management and what i do i'm my name is seth perler by the way it's sethperler.com or executive function i'm an executive function coach i wear a lot of hats in the executive function world and I'm a speaker and do all these things, and I've worked with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of families and students, middle, high school, and college usually, but a lot of elementary kids as well and young adults with executive function challenges, ADHD, and the like. And one of the patterns that I've noticed so often is the, this challenge with time management, this being late, being unprepared, um, and this time blindness and these sorts of things. So what I teach my students, one of the things I teach them is this three by 10 rule, and that is this. One of the things that happens when we're trying to manage time is we don't, we aren't, imagine the term calibrated, we aren't calibrated very well. So we don't, we're not very realistic about time. And when I say to a student, well, how long do you think this will take? How long will that take? How long will this math assignment take? Oh, five minutes. How long will uh, reorganizing your backpack take? Oh, 10 minutes. How long will it take to write this paper? Oh, one hour. However long it is, what I find is that commonly, commonly, we are way off, way unrealistic. And what commonly happens is that the thing takes anywhere from three to 10 times as long. So I hope you can apply this to your life if you're a student or if you're somebody with ADHD or executive function challenges or you know somebody with them to just whatever comes out of your mouth in terms of how long you think something's gonna take, multiply it by anywhere between three and 10. And of course, it's, it's this is not a, sci a, a scientific number or anything. This is just something I've really noticed with hundreds and hundreds of people. So multiply it by three or 10. So if you say, oh yeah, it's gonna take 10 minutes, it's probably realistically gonna take 30 minutes to 300 minutes, right? Let's say you're like, oh, it's gonna take five minutes. Well, it's probably gonna take anywhere from 15 minutes to 50 minutes. Oh, it's gonna take me one week to complete this thing. Well, it's probably gonna take three weeks to 30 weeks to finish the thing. Oh, it's gonna take me a year. Well, probably three years or 10 years. The point is, is to really be realistic, is to really think about, you know, saying, okay, my brain wants to believe. My brain wants to convince me that this is gonna take X amount of time, but I wanna be honest with myself and I'm sick and tired of the frustration I've caused myself in my life with not being realistic. So when my brain says X, I don't have to believe it and I can multiply it by three to 10 and really know that that's probably a more realistic expectation of what's really gonna happen. And I find that when my students are able to do this and really start integrating yeah, three by 10 rule, yeah. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna take five minutes, but it's gonna take way longer. There's a lot less stress. They're much more realistic about how long things take. It, it can be frustrating because of how long things take, but it can also help because it allows us to know, oh wow, this is taking really long and we need to make an accommodation with the school, for example, because this isn't realistic for this student. How can we get things adapted for this human being? Um, and we can really have different ways of approaching how we think about time so that we can be more realistic, have more peace, have more freedom, have more fun, have less stress, have a better life, essentially. My name is Seth Perler. Check it out, sethperler.com or executivefunctionsummit.com. Um, and go ahead, subscribe. I got freebies and stuff for you there. And if you like what I'm doing, please share my work like it, leave a comment. What do you think about the 10, three by 10 rule? What do you think about time blindness? What do you think about the ADHD brain executive function and being late and unrealistic about the perception of time? Have a fantastic day. I want to wish you peace of mind. I want to wish you joy. Most of all, I want to wish you connection with the people you care about. Take care.